Why would anyone visit Iran? Well, this French guy I meet says he wanted to visit somewhere unique. It sounded like a interesting culture, so we just decided to come here. What the media always says is not always true. They should meet uh, the real people of Iran. Hadi and Amir are the founders of Tap Persia. Definitely something that's up and coming. It's one of the what you call emerging destinations in the world. For American, they should come and see Iran by themselves, it's the only way they can understand and differentiate between politics and people. Tap Persia was founded about five years ago. Here they create content and organize tours for visitors coming from abroad. My name is Sarah, I'm a uh, senior agent here and we help travelers to get their visa and come here and enjoy their trip. Their aim was not just to start a business or to be entrepreneurs, but to change and challenge perceptions and stereotypes. We believe that Iranian people actually love American, and once they come here, they will love Iranian people. They've brought more than 5,000 people here as tourists, and about 50% of their tourists come from Europe. The old bazaars here in, and the Kashan one especially, like the Kashan old bazaar was really amazing to look at. Even though Iran is far from a popular tourist destination, people choose here because it's truly a one-of-a-kind place. I mean, there are no Starbucks or Hilton hotels. People are the most misunderstood things about Iran. And we can show them the beauty of Iran and it's really interesting. Its largely insular economy and culture make it different than most places that have evolved in recent decades due to globalization. To be introduced to such a different dynamic of people and cultures and interactions really. It's, this, it's those tiny little interactions between people like uh, paying for a meal or just, you know, inv inviting people into your home. Tiny little things that add up to make an incredible experience. As part of TAP Persia's services, they take care of your visa, travel itinerary, and even things like giving you a SIM card and a bank card too. Because today, many small businesses prefer card over cash. We have to survive. We have to work really hard to make this dream happen. And we can see the result after four years hard working, we become number one in trip advisor based on a traveler's review and we can see the success actually. But things have not been easy for them because of politics and the global pandemic. But despite that, they're remaining optimistic. Somehow it's pretty hard, but we try our best to show the real picture of Iran to them. Because they should see that what media always says is not always true. It may be different in different parts. So they should see the real Iran themselves. And they should see besides um, the part that is government, they, sh they should meet uh, the real people of Iran and uh, yeah, see the actual life here. In fact, they've already brought several thousand people to Iran this year as border restrictions ease. I lived in Malaysia for nine years. I decided to come back to Iran because I wanted to do something for the country and the people. People that come, surprisingly, come a second time, a third time, a fourth time. Me and my family have been living in the States since 2000, so it's been quite a while. I grew up there, did all my schooling there, went to college there. And then a couple years ago, I wanted to come back and get reacquainted with my heritage. So when I came back, I kind of got reintroduced to the culture and the people and the history and everything. And I, for one, loved it and just absolutely connected with it. And for the past almost six years, I've been living in Iran. For Iranians living abroad, you 100% have to come because it, it, everybody that comes here, whether they've lived here for most of their life or they've never been to Iran at all, leave with a sense of identity that they didn't have before just because of the warmth and genuine um, pleasure of people in meeting new, uh, new other people. There's lots of individuals that are being very creative and are coming up with very ingenious business ideas. And I think it's definitely somewhere to watch out for for the next 10 years. Not maybe not the short term, but the long term. Definitely worth thinking about and looking into. I was looking for some job opportunity and I find out tourism is one of the interesting like business that I can do something. Uh, I actually decided to uh, show the real image of Iran and the people because the media actually ruined all these images um, for past few years, especially during, during the sanction. My dream, we want to be the number one incoming tour operator in Iran.